Hey, what's up everyone? So in this video, we are going to discuss about SAS mixins and how you can create custom breakpoints to respond upon to any screen. Okay. Uh, like if you see nowadays, the, there is no specific standard maintained for screens. You can see 15 inches, 14 inches, 16 inches, and there's a lot of variation. And that is why that is where you may need custom breakpoints. And that is exactly what we are going to discuss in this video. Okay. So if I show you one example, I just created a very basic, you know, uh, nav bar, I mean header. So we have a logo, then we don't have any gaps. Of course we can add gaps. So, uh, uh header elements, I think header options. I think, yeah, here, if I do a padding of, let's say zero and two rem. So now we have some gap among these elements and yeah, and let me refresh it. Okay. So anyways, that doesn't matter because this video is not about styling, but what ideally we want is, you know, when we uh, change the screen sizes. So when it is at bigger screens, let's say not non-mobile devices, I don't want to see this nav button. Okay. Uh, this uh, basically expander. And when I go to smaller screen size, I want these guys to disappear. Okay. So that is what it is. Currently you can see that it is getting squeezed and it is getting horizontally scrolled and all that. So we don't want that. So now uh, we will be, you know, uh, looking into how we can achieve this using custom SAS mix sense. Of course, using media query you can do the same thing but why i prefer sas is when you have a scalable code base you know you can reuse these components and it makes your code more readable rather than using just media queries okay so let's quickly get started so first things first first let's disappear these elements when the screen size is greater than uh, when the screen size is less than i would say 480 pixels because 480 pixel is like the biggest screen size in mobile devices so first things we will be doing this okay so let me quickly go here go to mixins and write a mixin okay so the syntax is at mixin name whatever you want to so i'll do respond and inside respond i will take a variable which would be screen type okay and i'll add an if condition so if screen type is equal to mobile and here i want to implement at media uh, only screen and let's say and min width is equal to 320 pixels i think that is at least what we get in mobile devices and max width is 480 pixels so i'll take that suggestion and i will you know populate with any content that we get with this mixin okay so this is as simple as that this is our first mixin and let's try and check it first let's see if it is working properly so here you can see that i've imported this mixin dot css file because that is important and now let's test it out so i'll do add include and then the mixin name which was respond and in case of mobile screens uh, let's quickly see if it is working so background color goes red okay so now if i go here and if i go beyond this you can see that the background color has been you know is turning red as we go below 480 pixels okay and if we go beyond even this 150 pixel which is less than 320 it again goes back okay so we can actually uh, handle this within the same mix and we can make uh, if i go there i can actually turn this you know to zero pixel and if i save it and go back you can see that it is red or there is one more way let's say if we had some let's say some micro mobile screen something like that so we could have you know uh, created it and since we need to follow the hierarchy follow in a way it is best practice because you don't want to randomly you know uh, put mobile and then some other screen size and like basically we, we want to maintain the order so let's say from 0 to 10 pixel then 10 to 20 and so on instead of you know from 0 to let's say 10 and let's say 40 to 50 and then 10 to 20 which makes code a little bit more unreadable and that's why i am keeping this you know before the first uh, uh, i mean the first if condition so let's convert this if into else if and let's add an if condition here so if screen type equal to let's say mini mobile again the same thing and media uh, will do a min width of zero uh, of course we need to do some more things only screen and min width is zero and max width is uh, how many two th 320 pixels and again the same thing content okay and now we can change this so let's make it back to 320 pixels and let's add another responder here so we can do it like this and let me make it mini mobile and just for the sake of distinction let's make it blue okay so for mini mobile turn the background to blue for mobile turn the background to red so you can see it is blue but as i cross 320 pixel it gets red okay you can see at 320 it is blue at 321 it is red all right so we are now good to uh, we are now good with the uh, setup so these mixins are working fine so now let's walk into and let's go with our first task which is disappearing these list items when we are at mobile screen okay so let me go to headers and i think it is header options let's quickly check it out so yeah we have all the navbar items into the header options so what we will do is we will add a mix in here add include and of course we need to import these mixins so add import Let's go back, go back one more time. Styles, mixins.scss. 
and then respond uh, what was it respond right and it was mobile devices so for mobile devices we need to make it disappear so we can just do display none and that's it so let's test it out let's we don't need to refresh it but let's try to minimize this and yeah it disappears so our first use case is solved now the second use case would be to dis make this particular option button disappear uh, every time you know and let's quickly make it a pointer instead of a normal cursor so now what we want is beyond mobile screen we don't want to show this guy right because we already have the options to displayed in those part right so yeah like this so we need to make it disappear uh, for that there is one way is that you know we create custom screen sizes for all the screens above this and so one way is to include another if condition with a minimum width but again if you see that this is specific custom solution we are operating in ranges custom ranges right so it is not good practice to keep that custom uh, mix in, in this one instead you, we can make it rename it as custom respond custom and go back there and do you know respond custom and i think yeah and in the body i think we did not we undo the changes and then let's create a uh, you know add mix in respond greater than okay so this would make more sense and this will make your code more readable so someone who is you know let's say working on this let's say you're expanding your code base in all those cases this approach will be better so once and someone goes here they see okay this is respond custom meaning it operates in ranges and then respond greater than meaning it operates for greater than okay so here we can add a if condition and then screen type equal to mobile if that is the case then we need to add a media query only screen and i think i missed something so media only screen and then uh min width which is basically 480 pixels and of course i don't think any mobile device would be wider than that but in case if it is you know you can anytime change these values to you know create your custom breakpoints and then we add a content and save it okay so now this uh, now this is ready so basically whenever respond greater than uh, mobile all right so as simple as that of course if we would have put it here it would still have worked but now this mix in is making more sense and you know uh, it helps uh, add more readability to your code okay otherwise it could be a bit confusing so let's come back here and let's add another mix in here we just created now and then respond greater than mobile if it is greater than mobile then display to none okay so here we go and now it disappeared so for smaller sizes we see it and of course for sizes below this we again need to uh, include a mix in for that also because we have a mini mobile display so we need to do it like this and yeah so it's here and now i think it is what exactly we wanted so this is a use case you know where you can uh, do these kind of things and not just for small sizes you can do it for the large sizes also so let's say here we are operating uh, if i go to mix in so here we have mobile phone then let's say we have a tablet device and after that we have laptop and then we have desktop screen so we can you know change this so let's say tablet and it starts from 420 pixel to oh, sorry 480 pixel to uh, let's say 720 pixel and here 720 pixel to 1080 pixel and here we have 1080 pixel and let's say 1080 pixel and beyond that okay so here we can keep it as laptop and then here we can keep it as desktop or whatever okay and then we can you know use these mix in conditions so let's say uh, let's quickly show you one demo so here we will include all these conditions so add include uh, respond custom for tablet uh, uh, actually you know uh, let's have it more in a better way so let's quickly uh, here we have a div so let me wrap it into a fragment and then we will have a paragraph this is a tablet device and then let me copy paste it a couple of times this is a laptop device and this is a desktop device okay and let's quickly add classes here class name equal to classes dot uh, first one would be tablet the second one would be laptop and third one would be desktop okay so what we will do is we will quickly create classes for these one by one so dot tablet uh, display would be none similarly if i copy paste it two more times laptop and desktop so we will have laptop and i think it's fine 
and then desktop okay and then we can quickly add a response so we would be using at include respond custom and we will use tablet okay so here i'll put display to block maybe and here i'll change it to laptop and here i'll change it to desktop okay as simple as that and if we quickly go and check in i think this looks good to me and now if i go here so you can see that it's saying this is a desktop device of course it is not because uh, uh any screen size greater than a specific range it was saying desktop uh, but if i scroll it down i mean move it down further so this is laptop device and if i go be uh, making minifying screen even more at some point it will say this is a tablet device and yeah below the below a certain screen size since we don't have any mobile device set up so we uh, we are just doing it like this okay so i hope you got this idea of mixin how they can be used and you know how you can use it to scale your applications and make your web application more responsive and you can pretty much play around with anything you can create greater than you can similarly create a less than filter so beyond a certain screen size um, behave in a certain way you can do all these sorts of customizations so i hope this video was helpful for you in case if you have any questions feel free to ask and for more such content do subscribe to this channel and until then have a nice day thank you very much